We started this survey and we carried out this survey because what you really need to know, if you want the cl climate transition to be a success, you need to have people with you because it's the people who will need to change their lifestyles. And among those lifestyle changes, you need to change your food habits. All of us, we need to change our food habits. And we wanted to know how difficult it would be to convince consumers that they need to change the way they eat. And so that's why we carried out uh, this, this food survey. And one of the really good results and pleasant results that we found out is that people are interested in food sustainability. They want to know uh, what, can, what they can do to help uh, the, the climate transition to take place. And what we see is that they consider that sustainable food is environmentally friendly food, is without GMOs, it's without pesticides. Uh, and also they believe that uh, local food is uh, also sustainable food. What they also tell us is that they struggle in finding the right information. They do not really know what is sustainable and what is not, and they are very often confused by contradictory messages in the marketing claims, for example. Two thirds of consumers, so every two people out of three, are ready to change their consumption habits. They are ready to eat more plant-based products, they are ready to waste less food, they are ready to eat more seasonal fruit or vegetable, but they see also the obstacles. And the, uh, the first obstacle is the price. So they believe that uh, sustainable food uh, is in fact has a price tag, is much more expensive than non-sustainable food. Only 16% of consumers in our surveys consider that governments do enough to help consumers move towards sustainable diets. Uh, and there, there is a lot that can be done. First of all, you need as, a, as an authority to better inform consumers about the, the consequences of their food choices. But it is very important to realize that food information is not uh, not enough, because you cannot really put all the, the weight on the consumer, all the responsibility on the consumer to go into a more sustainable food consumption civilization. You also need to act on all, on all other levels, be it regulation, be it marketing, be it the retailers and the producers who change their, their offer. Because at the end of the day, the most basic information that we get out of this survey is that consumers want the sustainable choice to be the easy choice, to be the affordable choice and to be the attractive choice.